Grana Weeponini Bong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today on my channel, I'm coming back at you with some stuff and things I found from the four corners of the Tinterweb. I do this every single Tuesday and Saturday on this channel. So if you like the sound of that, why not think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe? because it really does help me out and now the news don't touch that dial Kicking off today with Fun B Studios, who've been showing off some added little parts on their cyber base system. This time, teeny, teeny, tiny cyber base for your Micro Masters. Uh, looks pretty cool, transforms into like a, a little box type container affair. It's got a little road track, a couple of computer screens, nicely detailed. Nice paintwork on this one as well. And you know what? They look pretty cool. If you're into your, your little or mini transformers then this i guess is a nice little base for you takes me back to the kind of micro machine days and also doubles up as what looks like a repair bay i use it as a bit of a repair bay next up they've been working on something a little different that comes directly from the idw comics and this is the desk or the control center for the lost light so this is where magnus places himself within the starship the lost light during the idw comics so if you want to recreate a lost light diorama on your shelf this looks pretty damn cool and should enable you to be able to do that very very nice absolutely love the way that this looks the lost lights is, is actually not an idw comic that i've picked up so uh, yeah i might pick that up soon let me know down in the comments what are the lost light comics like are they any good Next up, Gisea Toys continue their mission to turn everything into a tape. And this tape is obviously Starscream. So this is Starscream, who I believe is obviously a triple changer because he's a tape, he's a plane, and he's Screamer himself. <laughs> I think this looks pretty good. I like it. I really do. Couple of figures now in stock in a few places are the Red Samurai Edition or the Shadow Samurai Edition. So to you and I, this is six shot available now. This is Mech Fans Toys Take and available in quite a few places. Finally, is the Shattered Glass Drift here. So this is the one from Flame Toys, which is the non-transforming figure. Both I think have been delayed for some reason in some places. So yeah, nice to see them actually making it to the stores. Quite often I speak about the upgrade kits on here and people say, where can I get the upgrade kits other than eBay? And I found some of them on something called Shopee. Now I have no experience at this store, but on there right now is a new head for your cup for your Studio 86. There is a really nice uh, kit here for the stickers for your Jazz for Studio 86 and some stickers for your Studio 86 Grimlock as well. So all in all, pretty good. There is also tons and tons and tons and tons of other stuff, but this is just the kind of things that caught my eye. Uh, go out, I'll put a link in the description down the bottom so that you can go on Shopee and check it out for yourself. I have no experience with this store though so shoppers beware speaking of upgrade kits and go better are actually doing a brand new upgrade kit for huffer that's gonna fill in some of those gaps because he is gappy let's be fair he's a beautiful fantastic figure hasbro did a great job with him but Dude's got gaps, right? Dude has some gaps, especially when it comes to the legs. So this is going to fill in quite a few of those pieces. Add some little segments, some like really just some, some kind of quality of life issues and also make him just look a little bit aesthetically nicer and fill in those gaps which is super key. I know people go, I don't display him from the box so I don't care. Hey, I care. And I think a lot of people care as well. I want my bots to look pretty well-rounded. And this does fill it out very, very nicely. Mech Fans Toys, Vecma, Mechanic Studios, whatever the hell they're going by today, are releasing all of their headmasters in one giant pack. Now, the box art here does look pretty, really cool. I, I didn't expect to get an interesting looking box art from these, to be fair. I thought they'd just bundle them all up together and you'd get them in a boring cardboard box from China. But no, they've done a good job here. 
Nice. Nice. Do you need a new man bag? Or a woman bag? Or something just to put your passport in? Because, you know, we're going to be able to travel again pretty soon. Look at this bad boy. I have no idea where to get this. I have searched a couple of places in the internet. Uh, Kapow did share a picture of this. Kapow in the UK shared it on their Facebook. But then i don't think they're going to stock it if someone can point out where to grab this i would love to pick this up for when i actually get back to traveling so flame toys also showed off their victory leo and their star saber figure and said that hey look you can combine them they're a combiner well he's riding it anyway they do look pretty good when you put them together i will admit these do look fantastic as always though not transforming not trans moving over to fans hobby and they have showed off the fact that they have now finished off the kind of the blue tint to ace hitters windshields and yeah it looks great looks really really good i'm super excited for this one really hoping that all the issues are ironed out after athena especially with removal of the head i'm scared i'm scared Something I cover extensively on this channel, of course, is the Transformers IDW comics. So I get super excited when I see a new comic run coming. And we are going to get, in August, I believe, or certainly over the summer, we are going to get King Grimlock. Now, King Grimlock is going to be basically like Grimlock meets Dungeons and Dragons type magic and mystery this is going to be very 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 interesting it's going to be a mini series when they do a mini series it's usually about four or five the artwork here looks incredible and there's some great artists behind this as well and writers i'm excited to see something a little bit different how did he get there did he time travel go through a different portal are they even going to explain it grimlock fights merlin come on these covers already look like they have just jumped from the old heavy metal cartoon which i actually quite like so yeah i'm super excited to see what they do with this really 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 interesting i, I love that idw are taking some some real um kind of chances with uh the franchise at the moment nice nice taking it in some different directions they also showed off the new issue of the regular running transformers series uh, which now seems to have lost the war world title so i guess they're moving away from that and just going back to transformers they also showed off beast wars as well and also their variant on the shattered glass so even if you pick up blur who comes with the shattered glass comic that will be the hasbro pulse variant comic that you get with that so that will be something that's a little bit more uh different and i think it's the most premium version that you get with the figure itself but idw are going to release these comics independently if you do want to pick these up separately as well which i think is nice speaking of shattered glass blur we got a few more looks at the packaging this week he looks great out of the packaging the packaging itself looks incredible as well love that logo that new shattered glass autobot logo absolutely gorgeous i love his eye patch we also got i think it was kamzik reviews who said that who showed off some pictures because he obviously has the figure already and this looks very very nice as well super super excited for the whole shattered glass run i plan on picking up absolutely everything in this more to come on this later in the video and then also they showed off Artfire. So Artfire is going to be released as part of the Generation Select line, which of course is just a recolor of Inferno, but he does come with a little Target Master buddy. Really nice. Very, very cool. He does look incredible. Do I need to pick this up again? I'm not sure, but this colorway does look great. Absolutely gorgeous. And do you know how they get these poses? Do you know how Hasbro get these poses? Blue tack, mate. Blue tack. Hasbro marketing again, giving all the trade secrets away there. Blue tack, it's blue tack, mate. It's blue tack. Staying with Hasbro then, and of course, this week we saw Hasbro Fan Pulse Fan First Friday, hosted by Ben and Evan and Rachel, who who usually does this, has now had a baby apparently, and uh, yeah, I think she was missed. If I'm honest, uh, these two read from a script, showed off some T-shirts. I want that Red Guard T-shirt, uh, but yeah. 
what we're getting first of all and this was mainly centered around transformers the movie the animated movie so we're going to get a 35th anniversary version steel case limited edition loads of new artwork all kinds of incredible stuff that's going to be coming on later this year i think august because august is when it released originally just in time for my birthday that's when i went to watch it they showed off how everything was designed which is really 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 cool very nice to see how it goes from the just the ink drawings right up to the scale where it actually makes it on the front cover of the uh, book itself the steel book here and i think this looks very very nice both versions look great this is going to be in 4k ultra hd do i need to pick this up again yeah probably and then of course we then got the toy reveals and first of all was excuse me uh probably one of the best lines in the entire movie there and they call this guy slug he ain't no slug he's a slag we've covered this already on this channel i think he looks brilliant i'm super hyped for him cannot wait what got me super excited though was this was the vicious sharkticon reveal unexpected from my side to actually see a shark to come reveal but also to see one that had been bumped up to a deluxe size so historically we got the, the legend scale or i guess it would class as a core scale whatever it is but this has been bumped up to a deluxe and it looks great it's so much chunkier than the other ones they've put a lot of effort into this probably more effort than they needed to do when i saw studio series 86 no i thought we were going to get like three or four shark decons in a pack but we're not we're getting a totally uh beefed up different take on the shark can look at that face it has a lot of emotion and has a lot of kind of stuff going on and when we see it right next to the other one we can see the size difference then we move on to offer expires while you wait operators are standing by do rom 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 runny mo old gun nipples himself my favorite transformers character Rekgar, was finally finally shown and i love this figure i think hasbro have done a fantastic job in both modes here uh absolutely awesome i love the uh, the bike mode i love the fact that the they've kept the spikes all right they've molded down the spikes a little bit but he looks great gun nipples mustache going on everything beautiful beautiful they did say that they had some challenges trying to get the the color right on this and they had to go to a certain take i think it was the the first hd version that they'd done the box art looks incredible and look at that artwork Look at that artwork. That's the artwork that's on the t-shirt. I want this t-shirt. Retgar all the way. Then, finally, they did a Hasbro Pulse exclusive because, of course, everybody loves the exclusives. And this is the next one in the Shattered Glass line. I did promise that we would do more in the Shattered Glass, and now we are. And this is the Heroic. Yep. That's right, the heroic Starscream. Look at them swords. Look at them beautiful, beautiful swords. And I love the way they give him the kind of jet fire deco here. Even with the uh, with the artwork that comes with it. Absolutely awesome. Super hyped to pick this up. Very interesting that they picked the Cybertronian take. Uh, and they didn't pick the kind of Earthrise take. I thought they were going to go with an Earthrise version, but they haven't. And I'm quite glad of that. I don't own many of the Tetra Jets. I did mean to pick up more. I think I only have two. So that means I'll have three after I pick this one up. Very cool. Of course, this one will also come with the comic Shattered Glass, Shattered Glass all the way. Let me know your thoughts on this take on Starscream down in the comments. So all in all, probably one of the best Fan First Fridays I have ever seen from Hasbro. Uh, I am picking up everything from this fan first friday and it's been a long time since i've said that thank you very much for checking out my video today uh we have just gone past the 269 k subscribers you are blowing me away again we are so close now to 2.7 we may hit 2.7 this weekend thank you as always for your support let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comments and i'll of course be there to chat along with you and i will see you in my next video all right guys in a bit peace